free. So I'm gonna practice recall with Doak here. I do have him on a 30 foot leash because we're not in a fenced in area and there's a road right there. So I wanna make sure he doesn't put himself in a dangerous position. So I told him free. Free means he can go kind of do whatever. I have reinforced him checking in with me. So if he like walks up to me on his own, good job. I like to reinforce that free so that he knows that the choices he makes creates rewards if they're good choices. You're free. Go sniff something. So I'm not going to reward every single time right now because I do want him to kind of go and explore some stuff, go sniff some grass or something. So when I call him, come. Good boy. Sit. Good job. So because he's excited to jump, I do, nope, sit. So I didn't tell him free, so I'm going to have him back in the sit. I do put my hand on my leg like this because that directs his nose where to go so he's less likely to jump from excitement. Free? Good boy. Walk over here. You're free. You don't have to be right, right by me. Free! I run. Free. You're free. Come. Good boy. Sit. Good job. So I just kind of close my fist and I put it like right here on my leg. That way his nose has a target. Good boy. Free. And I'm also praising him on his way to me. So. I reward the action of him getting to me when I call him, but I'm praising the entire action of him coming when I call. It's important when you practice this to always practice with a long leash on, preferably not a retractable leash. Uh, that way you can reel him in quickly if needed, especially when you're not in a fenced in area. But even in a fenced in area, the first couple times, practice with the leash on in case he chooses to ignore you, you can have that backup safety net to reel him in. Come. Good boy. Sit. Good job. And we always reward this command because we want him to know that coming when he's called is the best thing he could do. And that's come when called with Duke. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Good boy.